When I posted a quick story on the web, I noticed a lot of blasts saying, well, how come you didn't mention that there's a Premier and a, an MLA in this government have been arrested for drug crimes? So how do you address that, that issue that obviously a lot of people are thinking about whenever you guys touch this law? Well, I think that it's, uh, you know, the lesson that I learned and hopefully the lesson that Jamie learned is you should not be drinking and driving, period. That's what everyone has to know. Uh, and I think that it's important for us to do everything we can to make uh, our streets as safe as possible for people. We're saying quite clearly to people that you know, there's a very easy way never to run afoul of this law. That's don't drink and drive. Premier, how did your own experience inform your judgment on this call, whether to stiffen these fines or not? I mean, did you just instinctively think, yeah, that's a good idea, or did it have any impact at all? Well, I think that, you know, from, from my own personal perspective, I think that we should be very clear with people they should not drink and drive. Uh, I think that to, when we are told how we can make uh, streets safer by uh, not just our law enforcement officials but for our, by our public officials, I think we have a responsibility to act on that. And I think personally, you know, I mean, I haven't been, drink I haven't been drinking, period, uh, yeah. since, uh, since that incident. But I think everyone should understand that. It's a pretty simple thing to understand. Don't drink and drive. Thanks, you guys. Thank you.